Friends, I've had a person ask about my workflow for doing multi-camera videos, like a concert where you have maybe seven or eight, nine cameras. This is Zoso, which is a Led Zeppelin tribute band, one of the best in the nation. And a person has recently seen that I've been putting some videos out, and she is editing a heart, uh, heart uh, tribute band. And she mentioned the four different cameras she has and wants to know what my workflow is and how I get my proxies to work. First of all, let me tell you kind of what you're up against when you do this. You see, I have different uh, sequences here for each camera that I shot. This is stuff that wasn't as though, so just me poking around in, in Charlottesville. And these are the various different camera angles that I shot. Here's a front wide, here's a front narrow, here's a front right. These are stationary cameras that I had. I had this Go, GoPro camera. What you're seeing here. As you're seeing, uh, you know, I've got the audio down here. Uh, you know, that, that's matched up to these various different MTS files. So these are the MPEG-4 files, right? If I hold my thing over, you can see here, 555 MP4. This is the GoPros. If I go to the Canons, <clears throat> you'll see that I have uh, here, if I hold over that 0002 MTS, this would be 0003. Yeah, there you go. So what I've got, these are the 24 meg per second files. These that are cut up, right? This is a proxy that I made that's only 4 megs per second. So these are 24 megs per second. These are 4. This is an exact copy of all this. I made sure that I got all the uh, video on this line sequenced up the way it needs to be. And there is a cue at the beginning of this. Very at the beginning, there was a, uh, if I were to, uh, it's gonna, it might cause a problem here, but you, there, there's a symbol, a hi-hat that the guy here hits. And uh, that's what I queued all the rest of these up to. I made sure that I, I had all my cameras going. And I started all this video from this one symbol. Let's see if we can hear it. If I turn this uh, audio on here, I'll hit play. And we'll hear it. So that, that right there, that hi-hat that he hit, that's what I use as my, as my audio cue. I'm turning the audio back off because it's much louder. It's going to mess up our, uh, our audio for this video. So what I have right now, I have the proxy turned off. This is four megs per second, and I made one for every one of these. This top is just an exact copy of this that I exported at four megs per second. And they're all sequenced up just right. Uh, if I go here to one of these videos and I see the guy standing here like this, if I turn this off, I turn it on, it should be see his hands exactly the same place. It's a little less quality. These are only four megs per second. The GoPro ones, see GoPros shoot videos at, uh, wow, at a very high video rate, like 35 megs per second. So, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of data here. Now, the reason that's important and the reason I do this at all, go to the, to the trouble of even making these proxies, is because if, when you go into multi-camera mode, like I have over here, what I have, I have these last kind of two things I have here, these are three, this is called Zoso Tracks, and here's where I brought in every bit of the video, the eight channels of video that I've got, the different ones, and each one of these is a different, see here, right here's, let's see, oh, that's front wide there, this is front narrow, so these are the sequences, not the videos, but the sequences that I brought in, so there's actually two pieces of video in each one of these, right, the original and the proxy. The original and the proxy. The original and the proxy. And I've got them every one lined up to that symbol. So the whole concert, which goes on for two hours and 33 minutes, is all sequenced up and it's all synced up. I guess synced is the better word. And so now I can go here and I can do these edits, right? So what I did with Zoso Mix over here is I pulled that, I pulled this Zoso Tracks where they're all synced up in there. I pulled that sequence in. Here's Zoso Tracks. I pulled it into this. So this happens to be Stairway to Heaven right here that they're playing at this point. And I've identified where the song is. I put some markers in and I found it. And I, I did the editing. But now, if you have eight channels of 24 megasecond and 35 megasecond video going playing at once in this window, it, your computer will sputter. It doesn't matter how stout your computer is. I have 32 gigs of RAM, a very nice uh, third generation Core i7 processor, you know, eight, eight uh, cores. So, you know, I have, I have a monster computer, very fast USB 3 drive, but uh, that I'm editing off of, but, but still you want to make your system resources real easy for your computer to edit. So what I do, I'll go here on all these, and I turn these proxies on. I turn the, the high quality video off. I can leave that on underneath here, just to proxy play, but I like to do it this way anyway, just keep from confusing the computer. I, oops, I had that one on already. So I'm turning the proxies on. The proxies are low quality. This video here that I'm turning off is high quality. 
proxy. I don't want the high quality. I want the proxy. Okay. And this again. And let's see in here. Do you want the proxy on to do that right there? I did. Okay. So now proxy again. Handheld proxy again. Did I miss any of them, folks? Looks like the proxy's on here. I'm looking to make sure the sideball's on here, right? So now if I go to Zoso Mix, uh, and, and I can go here, and let's go to another place in the video. I've already edited that part. Let's go maybe right in here. I don't know what's going on. They're playing some other song. Looks like they're playing the Cashmere or something. He's playing a Dan Electro. So this all looks kind of fuzzy because it's not such high quality. But let's say I want to edit this. I've got it in one-fourth uh, view quality. That's for a stop. I'm, if I go to full here, it should sharpen up somewhat. Uh, that's for the stopped version. I'm going to go here. Right now I'm looking at composite video. This is the, If I click on this right here, you see I'm using the composite, which is all just one camera at a time. If I go down here to um, multi-camera, and first of all, it should be said that when I brought that, when I brought the Zoso tracks in here, I did right-click on this, and I did choose multi-camera enable. So that allows all of the uh, channels to be seen, but only eight can be done at a time. It knows there's ten actually 10 channels of video that I've got there, but we're only going to be editing the first eight. I'll edit the others in later. At any rate, so I have done that. I brought the video in. I went to multi-camera, enable, after I clicked on it. So that's already been done. Now I'm going to go over here to the little uh, wrench. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to go down to multi-camera video. Oops, let's see what happens. It should bring me up a nice little representation here. And so what we're looking at, we're looking at, at 8, 4 meg per second. So we're looking at only 30, when I, when I hit play, only 32 megs a second is going to be processed by the computer, and it can handle that. It can handle it easily. So I'm going to go down here. I've got the audio turned off. So I'm going to turn it off so we don't have to deal with that right now. Now, I will listen to the audio when I'm editing, but I'm not going to right now for a tutorial. I'm going to hit the tilde key. I have this, this window highlighted and the oranges around it. Hit the tilde. And so now I'm going to hit play. And... It should start playing here just a second. All right. So let's say I want to show the guitar here a little bit. All right, great. I want to go over here to the key, the uh, singer a little bit. I'm gonna go back over here. Okay. I'm gonna go back over here for a second. So I'm reframing up in certain so certain of these. Here's the keyboard player. Here's the dancer acting like Robert Plant or a singer. Here we go, guys. Here's our wide view. I hit stop and I hit the tilde key again to get out and you can see right here are my edits. If I zoom in there a little bit, you'll be able to see where I made those edits. So yeah, that's the way I do that. Now, now, like I've, what I've done, like if, if I said, so I'm getting ready to put Stairway to Heaven out there in a few minutes. I actually copied that and pulled it over here in another sequence and kind of plopped it in where I can do some more fine tuning. And so uh, this is one I've already edited and I, I'm, I'm not sure that I'm not sure that everything in here is edited just right. I have to go back and make sure that I'm happy with all the starts and stops and places and stuff that I've done. But if I hit, uh, first of all, I have to get back into composite view again. Now I'll be able to see what I've done. And I'm still looking at the proxy view, right? Because the proxy view is turned on on all these. Now if I want to see, if, well, before I go to render this, I'm going to go to every one of these again. I'm going to turn the proxy off. I'm going to turn the good quality video back. Just like this. It doesn't take long to do it. You just flip through each one of those, and turn the proxies off, turn the high quality video back on. So before I go to render, I want to know that my highest quality video is going to be there, right? So that's what I'm going to do. One thing I don't like about, uh, uh, I don't want to mess with that one. That's, that's not what I want to mess with. Okay, here we go. If I saw that the keys would be nice if my keys over here. Or, or especially with this last half, I don't think I've got it set up really good on the keyboard player. Looks like I'm kind of far off. I'm going to do a little bit of a cheaty, a cheaty thing here, folks. I'm going to actually click on this high quality piece of video here, and I'm going to do an effects control. You can see where I've done a little bit of color adjustment. I'm going to do a little bit of a, I'm going to take this up to about 120 in size scale. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. I've got a lot of this wasted space here. I'm going to pull this back over this way. So I've blown up some 1080p video. Is that the great thing to do? Probably not, but I'm going to do it anyway so I can see a little bit more of the keyboard is there and a little bit more of the singer. I'm also going to apply that same thing to this channel. So if you, if I were to pull over here where you can see it, 
I just copied the emotion effect. You know, see, it'll go down a little bit small again here. Should be. Maybe I'm wrong. I clicked on the right piece of video. I'm going to go to motion. Let's look. Okay, I'm going to say control V to paste that. And there we go. Now we got a better framed video. So now, since I did that here on just this one, then it means that here in my Stairway to Heaven video, whenever I see the keyboard player here in a second, let's see if it goes to him. Uh, we're watching this at one quarter, so it still looks very fuzzy. But when I go to that keyboard look, I should, there we go. See, see, saw it's pulled in tighter. So right now I've got this set to playback and pause, I guess, uh, at to one fourth. I'm going to go here and change that. Uh, playback resolution. I go to full now. It's not going to hurt anything. And yeah, so now we should be able to see a little bit better how it goes. So there's going to be, he's doing his guitar solo. Yeah, it's going to look all right, I think. Okay, so that's how I do it, folks. Uh, I'll go to render out. I will go ahead. I'll, I'll click on this to show you how I render. I get you a file, export, media. And I like to look at my audio. See, that's 320 kilobytes. That's going to be great. Video, 1920 by 1080, progressive. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be better if this were on high. So I'm going to go to high profile there. Oops, if you click that, it doesn't work, does it? Uh, and I like to pick about 16 to 20 for something like this. If it were something more complicated, I might go high. Something more simple, I might go lower. So I can see I'm only going to have a like a 1.357 gig file, and that will upload fairly quickly to YouTube, about 15, 20 minutes. So I'll export that, and we'll you can go watch that if you want to, to see what the results. This is a very excellent quality version of Stairway to Heaven, very true to the um, song remains the same uh, era of Led Zeppelin. when they actually try to recreate the the stylings and everything from that. So there in 12 minutes, hopefully that's been enough to help you. If you have any questions, folks, let me know. I uh, hope this simplifies the thought notion process of doing uh, at least up to eight tracks of multi-channel video in Adobe Premiere Pro CC I'm using the CC version and this is June 15th of 2014 as so I'm recording this piece. Uh, subscribe if you like.